Family budgets, your family budgets, to fill a tank, none of it should hinge on whether a dictator declares war. A promise from President Biden tonight to make gas more affordable again. He's ordering the release of 1 million barrels of oil per day from the reserve to bring prices back down. Georgians feeling the pain at the pump for weeks now. AAA reporting most of Metro Atlanta is still in the red zone right now, with prices hovering around $4 a gallon. All the uncertainty surrounding the fuel supply is intensifying interest in electric vehicles. CBS 46's Sierra Cummings is live in Atlanta tonight with why it may be more difficult than you'd think to make a quick switch. Sierra? You know what? Across the metro right now, in many cases, electric vehicles are in limited supply. It's not just true here, but around the U.S. as well. It's why local dealerships are welcoming President Biden's move to invoke the Defense Production Act. Off South Atlanta Street in Roswell, used imports auto cannot seem to keep electric vehicles on its main lot. In fact, these are the only two at the property. The market's been kind of fluctuating up and down, so it does definitely make a difference in the inventory that we carry here. The dealership still has about 100 EVs that remain at another site, but when it comes to this location, drivers have been showing up more often to go green. You don't have to worry about gas. Prices can go up to $10 a gallon, doesn't matter. While Georgia halts its gas tax and the U.S. releases 1 million barrels of oil each day for the next six months, all to fight the prices at the pump, another plan is in motion too, a push for clean energy addressing climate change. End this era of dependence and uncertainty and to lay a new foundation for true and lasting American energy independence. President Biden is now invoking the Defense Production Act. It increases the supply of batteries on electric cars by encouraging more domestic companies to make minerals needed for the power packs. Changing the limited availability at lots like these. The shortage is there, but it's not hitting too hard where we can't go out there and find them. Next couple years, four or five years, I'm sure every, you know, everybody's going to want an electric vehicle and I'm, I'll be kind of surprised if we even still sell like gas vehicles. The whole game is going to be changed. And while EVs can save you hundreds of dollars per month, there are some cons like you might have less mileage before you need to charge that battery. And then, of course, you have to find a battery charging station here in Atlanta. There are about 2,500 mapped out online. I'm in Atlanta. I'm Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News.